Hey y'all. Hey, hold is it on. going? It is going, but wait a minute. Okay. Hey. What's up everybody? Look, everybody coming in. Okay. Yay. Go ahead and invite okay. your people. I'm gonna invite my people. Okay. Hey y'all, it's Monique Melton here, Austin, Texas, with the amazing Caitlin J. She's very kind. I'm just saying. She's really kind. I'm like, you know what? I can do what I want. So let oh. me I'm gonna invite my people, y'all, because my people need to see Caitlin. Oh my look, God. look, they're just coming in. They're like, yes, we wanna see you, we want you, we oh. love you, you're amazing, you're the bomb, you everything we need in our lives. Guys, like, she just asked me, can I tell you? You sure can she just asked me, she said, So have you been interviewed by like Oprah or something? I'm like, <laughs> no. Not even close. Uh, I'm just saying. So, okay, hold on, y'all. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna. Sharing. I'm gonna share this. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me. Oh, crap. Turn it down, Caitlin. Okay. Can I call? Can, do people call you KK? They do. I figured that. They do call. I figured that. that. Hope you're feeling better, girl. Oh, your people knew you weren't feeling good. Oh, thank you, guys. Look at all the shares. Okay, this share. room about to get full. Oh. I guys. feel like we need to give something away. What oh, you? give something away. Yeah, I love that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, y'all. So let me introduce. We're already going, y'all. We already. Oh, eh, 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 eh. We only got 15 minutes, so she's gonna start like choking. So, <laughs> <laughs> look, I'll just lead over here. Look, already started. I don't know. We might not make it through. So, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, like we're gonna have to move this up because we can oh. see. Oh. Hold on, y'all. Stop saying stuff. Wait, wait. Russia. Wait. Hey, Russia. Oh. Is this what happens when you scope? Like, it just, like, boom. Well, the people are sweet. Y'all are sweet. Was this isn't a good angle, you know, but I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and just block that. We ain't got time for that kind of stuff. No. All right. So, Monique Melton here, y'all. Brand strategist. I do marketing, branding, consulting for passionate entrepreneurs. Folks like Caitlin. Oh. I would love to be your brand strategist. <laughs> y'all hear that? Like, I would rock it, y'all. Okay, so... Here's the thing. We are in Austin, Texas at the Blink Conference. This is the last day of the Blink Conference. I am interviewing none other than the Caitlin James. Let's dive into this. So can you tell me, first of all, what's your 30-second elevator pitch? Like, introduce me like you don't know me. Like, I mean, you really did just meet me. So to all the folks here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who is Caitlin? 30, who is Caitlin? Caitlin is a wedding photographer. Um, a wife to her high school sweetheart, mother to Boca the Beach Poo. That's it. Aww, She's sweet. The um, Boke. The Boke. Um, speaker and vlogger, and just I love to share the joy of the Lord and the joy the joy of what we. Oh. <laughs> so, um, but I would say that that is kind of describes just what our passions are in our life. And what we're all about. The joy of the Lord. We about to get church up in here, y'all. Let me pull this up. So let me, let me, oh, gosh. Let's get close to Caitlin, y'all. This is probably as close as some of y'all gonna get because she all that. No, I'm just playing. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I'm yes, so joy. embarrassed no. right now. Oh no. No, but, in a good look, way. She's gonna turn red like her hair. Oh no, don't do it. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Let's go, y'all. Wait for the questions, y'all. But listen, everybody, I want y'all to share this broadcast with all of your followers right now because I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway, y'all, and it's going to happen, but I need y'all to share. I need to see this room packed, packed with everybody in here, everybody in their mama. If you drive and pull over, pull over. You're so funny. You're so funny. I'm okay. cracking up. Ah, hey, 1210. That's my boo right there. Oh. 1210. Not my, like, boo-boo, but, like, boo. Okay, so... <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> right, because it's all kind of booze. So, tell me, what photography? You could have, I mean, you're smart. You could have done <laughs> You Look, y'all, she going to try to make it through this, but okay, I yeah. don't know. Get your, your water. I have, I have my water. Okay, okay right get here. your water. Okay. Um, why photography? Well, photography allows me to be creative, but it allows me to work with people, too. Yay. And that is, and that Love gives that. me a lot of joy. I also think that wedding photography specifically um allows me to bless people and capture things that are going to last a lifetime Life and then through that i've been able to hopefully empower and encourage other photographers to make this a reality and love it that brings us a lot of joy so love yeah. it somebody said black and white yes thank you so much thanks for noticing <laughs> so um <laughs> You know, they're trying to emphasize that I'm extremely white. You know what? Whatever. We we, we love. We, well, mm -hmm. you know, hey, everybody ain't got a lot of melanin. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> she 
She needs to be tech. She needs to do classes on how to teach people how to periscope. Because this is the least boring periscope I have seen I'm in a long you, time. Listen, you you got to go back and watch the replays. We've been having so much fun. Okay, guys, keep sharing, y'all. Keep sharing. Hey, what's up from Turkey? All right, can you tell me what I was asking this offline? But like you, I'm sure you, your inbox gets inundated with other photographers who are like, you know, trying to break into the industry. How long have you been doing this? Seven years. Okay. Yeah. So when you first got started, little baby Caitlin. Little baby Caitlin. The baby, baby. Baby Caitlin. Monique is the Periscope Queen. Look, you know, that's, that's my girl right there. Okay. So when you first started, what did baby Caitlin want? And at what point did you accomplish it? And where are you, like, where are you now? Where are you headed? So I when I, I when I first started, um, baby Caitlin. Um, baby. <laughs> baby. Um, she wanted, I wanted, um, to be honest, I wanted fame in the industry because hey, I thought, oh. I thought that that was going to make me really happy. I thought that that was like the ultimate goal. And then I had people that, um, went before me who experienced extreme fame and mm -hmm. were kind of, I feel like they, re they got to this place in their business and then they realized like that is not satisfying mm. i mean it is for a season like you feel loved when you're with people but yeah when you're not with people you are just as lonely as everybody else you're lonely. well no i'm well i'm oh. Bookie, bookie. But oh. <laughs> i do feel like there was a season where i i desired this level in the industry and then i realized that our true passion like i would rather no one knows my name but I know that I'm making a difference in Amen. people's lives. Amen. Then yeah. do I have this name and everyone kind of have a love-hate relationship because I'm not really helping people. Exactly. So. Because you got to be helping people no matter yeah. what you're doing. I love that. So, baby Caitlin, she's grown up. Like, what? <laughs> Look, you're going to be going around doing that. Look, like, that's going to be a hashtag. Baby Caitlin. Hashtag baby Caitlin. Can somebody put that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and make that happen. You can totally <laughs> rock that on Instagram. Okay? Can I get credit? Baby, credit okay. She gets so, all the credit. Ah! So... What type of goals? Oh, okay, so you had that. When did you realize? Like, what? Like, give me a timestamp. When was that? Like, mm. you know, I don't really want that. Like, like I, I'd say like two to three years in. Okay. Two. So I started teaching because I thought, oh my gosh, I need to teach because that's what you do if you're gonna reach this level. And then I started speaking, and it, it really got to a place where I'm like, you know what? I don't think that the Lord's given me this platform to speak so that I can label myself as a speaker, or label myself as like, um, I have X amount of Instagram followers or whatever. I mm -hmm. think he gave me a platform for a specific purpose. And I know that if I forget what that purpose is, like there's not oh, going to be no. any use for it. Come on now. Platform, so. Come on now. I need my tambourine because <laughs> we're going to have church. It is Sunday. This is the day. You, we are going to sing y'all. Okay. Taylor going to sing before she started choking up a lung. So, Look, please don't do that. That's, <laughs> oh. no, that would not be cute. Oh. So I want to know for the folks that are like, so you, okay, seven years. When did you get to a point in your business where you were like, you know what? I think I'm pretty good, I'm um, pretty good for myself. Mm -hmm. What were some of the signs that told you that? Um, so I think there's two sides. I think there's like a realistic financial side where you look at the numbers and you're like, okay, we can live off this. Like, my husband can quit his job. It's going to be great. And that's different for everybody, too, y'all. Yes. It's not going to yes. be the same number for everyone. Yeah. So the financial side, that happened about four years in. Okay. And then, See? It ain't overnight. No. no. Baby Caitlin had to grow up. Yes. And, <laughs> died. and then the emotional side of it was mm -hmm. um, when my brides started sharing their life with me and wow. not just their desires from for their wedding photography so they started sharing personal stuff with me wow. and um just oh we have so many stories of people who have just either like grown in their faith mm. through Come on now. oh it's just it's really good so Come on now. so when that stuff started happening and I became more than just like a photographer that takes pretty pictures I feel like that's when I realized oh my gosh my business is not made just to snap it's like a ministry Oh, it, yeah. Well, so Michael was in ministry. He was a youth pastor. What? Hold yeah. on. Let me get that. It's going, we had a few. We had a few little. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's okay. okay, though. That's okay. She, you got that. I got locked it. Locked it. You... Except that you blocked me. Oh, no. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me fix it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I will be fixing that. You keep talking, baby Caitlin. No, you're not baby Caitlin no more. Oh, gosh. You were talking about people's okay. lives. Okay. Change. So, 
Yeah, so when Michael, um, when we stopped doing youth ministry because we felt like we, he was supposed to join me, I just felt like it was time that we look at our business from a different perspective. And thankfully, um, very quickly, we saw fruit from sharing who we were and being genuine and serving people and making that our focus. So it's been quite a three-year journey. Since, then, since, since he then. joined me, so yeah. he was in ministry doing. I just unblocked Ike and Tosh. How could I? How could I unblock? How could I block the creator? All this. This wouldn't even be happening right oh, now. Get that first. Oh time. my gosh! Oh what my in God. the world? Okay, you know what? We just gonna keep rolling. Okay, so what kind of ministry was he in? Like youth ministry. He worked youth with ministry. teenagers. Oh. Yep. And we still know and love them. They're awesome. There may be a few on here. Who knows? I don't know. That is so... It could be. Are y'all there? Hello? Hello? Look, so what are some of the common... Like I was mentioning earlier, your inbox is like inundated. Yes. What are some of the common things that people email you? Like, do you get a lot of like baby such and such? It's like, where are you from? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I would say our most common... Um, we get a lot of questions about consistency mm. and we get a lot of questions about confidence. Mm. So what do you say? Um, I say. What does the question sound like when it's about confidence? Like, like I like I'm trying to start this business and I really want to do it, but um, I'm afraid of this, this, and this. Mm, okay. And a lot of those things that they're afraid of are self-inflicted lies. So I just normally tell people. Lies. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh well, it's true. I think um, I tell. She's so encouraging. I'm just saying. You dropping um, that truth, girl. I just think that there's a lot of people out there that the the world's like waiting for what they have to offer and they don't do it because they're scared to death. And I understand, I understand. Like mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm. running a business is scary. Mm -hmm. um, we have had scary moments in our business, like but what? oh, we um, well, this is being honest. We had a um, ten thousand dollar tax whoopsie. <gasps> no, no, hold on. How do you make a whoopsie? Like, I know. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was a couple couple years in. Oops, ten thousand. I mean, do that. Like, wow, that's that is kind of big. That's kind of scary. <clears throat> it's really scary, and a lot of businesses would shut down after that. Wow. Um, but she was like, mm -mm, baby. We saved a lot that year, and so we were able to recover. Good. But um, but yeah, like life isn't. This is not perfect for anybody. It's not, and you know what? I think there is like a there's this like perception that like mm -hmm. once you reach a certain type of level, you don't struggle with stuff like that, oh, or you gosh. don't have mistakes it's that the you same make. Amount of struggle, it's just different yeah. struggle. So there's drama in every level of the photography industry. Yeah. There's struggle. There's mm -hmm. pain. There's um just pain points of growing your business. So. Our pain points of growing our business still exist. Yeah. Like what? Tell me. Because I'm a brand strategist. I can help you. Okay. Yeah. She's going to help me, guys. Y'all see that? <laughs> um, so a pain of us growing right now is that we have um, such a great, we have a great demand for our business, which we're thankful for. Hey. And um, so we're tr trying to raise our prices, but we want to make sure we keep such a personal connection that normally only comes with medium range wedding budgets mm. so we're trying to raise our prices <clears throat> but not become a photographer that doesn't have any personal relationship with our clients so tell me why does that happen like why would raising your prices mean you would lose that like what is what is that i think sometimes at a certain price point you get couples that just work with planners and they don't want to have a relationship oh i see okay but we love the relationship so we need to so anyway it's just a struggle and um and i'm not saying like oh it, we're having so much of a struggle we're raising our prices i'm not saying that at all <laughs> no i don't think because, anybody's thinking that <laughs> because we didn't. We booked really slow two years ago. Actually, this time last year. Was slow. Really slow. Like not 50, Caitlin James. Yes, fifty percent less bookings than normal. Stop. They yeah. they all came in late. Already so, from the bottom. Now we're here. So for those of you who haven't booked yet for next year, there's hope because that's where we were last year. So. You know what? There is hope because if Caitlin <coughs> James, Caitlin James business can take a fifty percent plummet and still be the bomb. Anybody can do it then. You know what I'm saying? 50%. Oh, 10,000 in the state. What else? What no, that was long. <laughs> you know what? That just goes to show faith. 
keep praying. Yeah. You know, because seriously though, you have tenacity. You can take the struggle and keep moving forward. People need to know that because sometimes I think there's an <coughs> idea that once you get to a certain place, it's just easy. And no. she's saying right here, not right now, no. they were struggling. No. <laughs> yes. you, and he has, my voice sounds bad because I have pneumonia. You're, you're so, getting better though. You just gotta. It. I know I sound bad, but you're getting better. I'm getting better, slowly but surely. And you know what? Can we give her a huge round of a heart applause? Because the girlfriend. Look, we about to look, look, look. Because she could have been like, you know what? I'm gonna stay home. No. I got pneumonia. I just don't want you to think that I normally sound like this. You guys. We know Caitlyn is the bomb. Off the charts. She's bomb. the bomb, y'all. Bear? I'm gonna leave because I'm embarrassed. No, no, no. no, no. Let me tell you how much. Is it? First of all, let's let's stop for Caitlyn. Monique is the bomb, but Caitlyn's the bomb. And look, there's look, Michael. There's Mike in the back. <laughs> the, the real props come from Michael because Michael made sure that Caitlyn was healthy so that she could get here. Yeah, and we're so blessed. Yeah. He holds her down, right? Or holds her up. There we go. He holds her up. Yeah. He holds her up. You guys, seriously though, let's give Caitlyn like mad praise because she she was not able to make it at the beginning of the link, but she did everything she could to get here. And last night she was on the plane ready to go. This morning she inspired so many people. It was so incredible. Just show her so much love. Oh, you got you honor her so with sweet. us. Right. And so I love sweet. how she I love how she is sharing truth right here. Like she ain't trying to make it seem like it's always been perfect for us. It's always been you know, they have it's always had Starbucks right now, grande. Oh, you know? No. We talked about that in another scope. When you know you made it, when you can get the grande. This is I've the never truth. gotten the grande. <laughs> I do steam. I'm a tall too. I'm a tall too. You I'm know what? Yeah. Wait, which one is which one is bigger? The grande. The Oh, that's what you really know. That's what Oprah doing. That's what Oprah doing. But no, seriously though, like I'm having fun. But I just really think people need to know the truth that it doesn't start overnight. You said four years you got to a point where you were like, okay, you know what? It's just, I think sometimes people expect fast and then they get discouraged when it's not like that. <coughs> I um <laughs> Justin in the back. Look, he got me so stupid. Um, I will say this, and I said this in the talk this morning. Um, that when I think about my business and I think about what we've done and what we've created, there's nothing in my business that we are more proud of that hasn't taken time. Everything that we're proud of has that. been a gradual story. Yeah. I love so that. all the fast things in our business, um, very few of those are the greatest things. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Now, can you go back to when you said last time last year, or last time last year, 50%. Like, was there something you did differently? I don't know what it was. We just were booking slower. Um, we had a certain number of weddings, and um, we just, and I started freaking out. I was like, yeah. our business is done. What does freaking out look like for Caitlin? Oh. Show us. Cause I gotta see. You seem so reserved. No, reserved. Do you think I'm reserved? We gonna I, see y'all then. Hold oh. on, hold on. Do she got it in it? Do she got it in it? Ah, ah. Oh, look. Yeah. Yes. Hold on, she got it, y'all. Oh. 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 So, no. well, so she got it, y'all. So look, she got it, y'all. Look, hold on, don't, don't cough it up though. Hold on, y'all. Get her excited. Look, no, look. I can't. I can't do anything she can't right now. Take Look. Guys, oh gosh. <laughs> look. She can't take it, y'all. Look, look. Wait, wait till she off the antibiotics. She'll be good. She'll be good. Call then. Babylon. Don't do it. You need both. Okay, so. <laughs> right. It's, yeah, it's only one lung, actually, so that's great. Okay, you know what? That is good. <coughs> yeah. Less time for recovery. Yeah, right. I just don't want pneumonia. Look, cough that way. So, look, it's not convenient. So, though, really, though, can you tell me, this is so fun, but can you, what if somebody say, can I do a show, Dave? I need to have, like, fly folks in and interview them. Yeah. That was so, y'all hear that? You heard it first. Can you tell me, why, why did you come to Blink? Why did you go through all the trouble to come here? Because you could have easily, you really could have. That would have been a legitimate yeah. reason. I mean, Tasha's good people. She loves people. So, she would have understood. <coughs> but, Why? Why, why'd, you, why'd you still say, you know what, I gotta be here? Um, because I love her. And, um, I will cry. So. I know. I, Ooh, I got wet ones. I, um, I love them. I love what they stand for. They do. And I love, um, I think that even though this year has been busy for us, that 
no matter how big or how small our conferences that we speak at are, I think we're a part of them for a reason. And so um, I just felt like we needed to be here. And I'd, Amen, baby. So I'm, I'm honored to be here. I'm glad we got to come. Um, thank you for my doctor letting me come. So, <laughs> doctor to Caitlin, no, whatever your name is. Doctor. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Brenda your mama, James, for your mama letting me come. Care of, mama was taking care of baby Caitlin. Yeah. You know what? Thank you, Mama. Mama, <laughs> shout out to Mama. Mama's everywhere because the, Mama's been getting it. Mama's get it. So, but you know what? I can Tosh. Let me talk. Let's talk about them for a quick moment. How did you guys get at? How did we connect? How, well, I feel like I need to be on camera. Yes, I feel yes. like you do need to be on camera because yes. you the bomb, girl. You the bomb. On the couch, like, yes, come on. Or, yes, just get the, get the fro. Look, look, look she, ain't she bomb, though? Look, she ain't saying bomb. Oh, I remember. Get in there. Okay. With the, get in there, oh, girl. Get in there. Okay. I'll I just am. come over here. I'm going to you're like such a light. Oh. This, is, this is actually a great metaphor for who you are. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh. I, look at that. It's just coming down from heaven. That's okay. Oh because the glory of the Lord is upon us. It's hey. Is. It is Sunday. We got to quote the scriptures. No, I'm just saying. Okay. okay. No, you know. We're kind of an Oreo, right? We are. We are an Oreo. Or a good one too. Good one. Well, Caitlin and I have. I think we've heard about each other more than like it was yeah, like when we meet because we have a lot of really we have a lot of mutual friends. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of the same friends, but we hadn't we just haven't met yet. And I right. think one day I went up to her at WPPI. Yes. And I was like, Hey, I I feel like we should connect because we have so many mutual friends and and we same. hugged in that long hallway. We at the did. Grand. It was true, and that Aww. was kind of. That was yes. it. And then we got dinner when she was visiting in Virginia. That's right. With Wisdom. And yes. they, she actually fell in love with Wisdom. Yes. No, no, not fall in love with her. I haven't oh. even met her, but I love her. Everybody loves so. Wisdom. We're just Keep kind it. of Wisdom's parents and Wisdom's oh, right. little star. <laughs> and um, actually, I think Michael fell in love with Wisdom. She's a cutie boy. Yeah. She's so she, Oh, Michael loves Wisdom. He wisdom was really loves sad. Michael. <laughs> oh, he must so love So then we went yeah. out to Seattle Those for some. Oh, I had you a wedding. Um, yeah, I had a wedding. Yes. And then we got to see them. We went to the fair together. So oh, gosh, the questions. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we went to the fair, and I Where think that wisdom? really solidified. I will answer the wisdom question. You know, wisdom, Um, she doesn't have a platform just yet. <laughs> Almost, so, though. Almost. So sometimes when you're doing a budget for a conference, and you're thinking about <laughs> wisdom, and you're like, wisdom's going to need a nanny. And she's right. Gonna need, you know, but you just kind of go, wisdom got to stay home. Right. She ain't paying no bills yet. You know right. what I'm saying? Wisdom's so, so cute. Wisdom, I can't wait to see her, y'all. I haven't seen Wisdom since last Sunday. Oh, so a week. Is this I'm the ready. longest you've ever been away? This is the longest I've been away from Woo. my baby. I'm ready to go home to see my baby. I know that's right. So, oh. yes. So I'm soon. But so, we, we went to the fair with Caitlin and Michael, and we fell in love with them. Oh. They are our kind of people. We love them. They're that was a good people. day. Yeah, it was super fun. And, and we were like, dude, you have to come to Blink. Because yeah. people need to know why you're so amazing, no. and so. Here and she then is. we, and then I came here coughing and with hacking pneumonia. And with pneumonia. Honey, with an S on her chest, mm. she's here. That's just, that's just how <laughs> it go, though. You everybody know. loves, everybody loves these folks, okay? And so you need to be in Blink 2016. Well, I don't know if Katie's gonna be. I don't know. No, no. Hey, I don't. I am gonna be wherever the Lord wants me to be, but in spirit. Who knows? Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, we. we, we yeah. Whatever. You know. All I know is you know. 2016 gonna she's be a, off the she's chain. Planning ahead. All I'm he saying is, right? is y'all need to make sure when you sign up, when the registration opens, it is going to sell out. So make sure don't be don't be emailing me you later. Guys know Kayla's gonna be at pursuit. That's that's Caitlin's yes. spot now. You can always see Caitlin at pursuit. We love pursuit. We, we all love pursuit. Yes. I need to be at pursuit. Yes. 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 Pursuit, 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 pursuit. Yes. Oh, you yeah. love it. You yeah. should come. It's a photographer. We oh, talked about Blink 2017. Yeah. Ooh, 2017. Y'all, yeah. come on now. Just added Blink comments to my inspiration. Let's focus. Let's just try. We still in Blink 2015. We got a few more hours before we jump to 2017. I got a couple more questions for you. Is it all? Hey, okay? this one would be a fun blink location. Wait, I have more questions, y'all. This is my interview. Oh, okay, sorry. So, oh, bad. Um, <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to let you get back. Bye, guys. Thanks for having me. I love you, Kayla. I love you. Oh, I love it. Ebony and Ivory. Girl, look, look. You and your song. I love it. Okay, so what are some of the fears that you have to overcome to keep you going? day to day 
Um, the fear of, I, like, I shouldn't do something because someone else has already done a version of it, so, like, I shouldn't, um, like, our store, we love our online store, um, the kjcollection.com, but we almost didn't do it because there were so many other photographers that were launching stores, too, and I thought, well, why would I do this? Because there's going to be so many others there. Um, but it's not you. Yours right, isn't there. Right. Your voice is right. like no one else. Everyone has their voice. Yeah. So that's definitely a fear. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another fear is just the fear of like, okay, well, um, this business has been blessed in the past, but it's not going to be blessed in the future. Mm. That's a fear that we always have. Like, we booked our 25 to 30 weddings this year, but next year it's probably not going to happen. Wow. I just always think that, and it's never been true. I don't know why I think that all the time, but it's just normal fears that... You know, fears that my work isn't getting better, that it's just staying the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my prices are going up. I, I, I just all the fears. I just yeah. have them all, even though some people wouldn't think so. Wouldn't think way. so, yeah. Can y'all do me a favor? If you haven't done so already, share this broadcast with your followers because I want to make I want to make an announcement, okay? So share this broadcast with your followers. So is, this, is that something that we as women deal with? Well, I mean, you can only speak because you are a woman, but um, how do we share? You have, depending on the device you have, you either swipe up or across, and then you can choose the share option with your followers. Thank you so much, guys. So can you tell me, what would you say to the person who is in their business, they're, you know, getting started, they're trying to get those 25 weddings or more so, what are some things that you have implemented, tried and true, that you would suggest, maybe three things that you would suggest to do, you know, not that everything's going to work for everyone, but to give it a try. Yeah. Um, I think there there would be, um, let's see if I can make it the three C's. Okay. I'll try. So community. So you want to have community with other photographers for other with other small business owners. Um, because, I mean, there's like a girl right now where I am booked for next year. So I just send her all my weddings. Wow. And it's because of her friendship. Wow. So. If what a great funnel right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have referral groups, build community with people. Yeah. Um, but also build client communities. So, yeah. KJ Brides are a thing. So, if you're a KJ Bride, you're a very select group of women that actually had Caitlin and Michael shoot your wedding. and so That's pretty a big deal. Yeah, and so we, um, we love our KJ Brides. We're actually taking them to the spa in a couple of weeks for their Christmas present. Um, so build community within your that clients. Nice. Yes. I need to be a KJ Um KJ Bride. Oh, Rebecca. I love her. Oh, Is she, that one of your brides? Yes. yes. Oh. She's she's one of my favorites. So not that I have favorites, but I don't have favorites. But I'm I love one her. of your favorites. I'm she's not even one of your yeah. brides. Um, and the last thing would be um, let's see, what do we community with clients, community with each other, and then consistency. So consistency across the board in your editing. Um, in your workflow, in your social media, your blogging, just continuing to show up because when you continue to show up, then people start to trust you and your brand. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The three so, things. So, talk about that because you have something that you're going to be launching to help people with that. Can you segue into that, please? Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to plug it in here. We've yeah. never shared this before, so I hope it's okay. Oh, well, I think, it I think it's perfectly okay. We're, um, we have a big webinar coming up on Tuesday. It's free. Um, and it's an, a live editing demo. Uh, what did I say? Wow, I a know. live editing? A live editing demo. And we've never done that before, wow. so I'm really nervous. Never? We have almost 6,000 people signed up. Are you? You better. I'm going to follow. So, um, so, so we'll do the live editing, and then we have a big announcement. We're announcing that we've created an editing course, a consistency what? course. Yeah. So we're excited, but we're really... Oh, you can still sign up. There's a where link. Where do you sign up? Tell them There's a up. link on my blog. There's links on Facebook. Give them a link. Give me the website. CaitlinJaysBlog.com. You'll see a post, um, two posts back, and there's a link to sign up there. Um, so anyway, I... Yeah, we're launching this course, and I am nervous. I'm so nervous, but I'm, I'm also, also... nervous. Because it's just... We've worked for months on this. Yeah. Um, And I just... I think that this could be huge for photographers. I think that there are photographers that they have everything, they're doing all the right things, but because they're not consistent, mm. they're not killing it. And so, um, anyway, I'm excited. And they're killing it, y'all. They slaying oh. it. Slaying it. I learned that this weekend. Slaying it to the gods is what they say. I don't even know what it means. But I just say it. So, 
Say the website again, Caitlin James. Um, Caitlin James blog dot com. You and are you a blessing. She Aww, is. What questions you. do you guys have for Caitlin? What questions do you guys have? Is, is it is a free webinar. Free, free, yeah, free webinar. The six. course isn't free, obviously. Of course not. I mean, six she weeks, got bills but, to pay. But <laughs> but the webinar is free, and it's on Tuesday night. Wow, this coming Tuesday? Yeah, like forty eight hours. Oh my god. I feel like I need to like be there to support you. I know. Yeah, but, just come home with us. Uh, I know, right? Um, so. Somebody, look, you got people in here who've already signed up. They've already Yay, Alicia, up. That's What's great. next for you? Like, where can we see Caitlin in the next year or so? What's, what's oh. on the plan? What's on the radar? Gosh. I'd love to hear more about how you and Mike work together and tips to do so. Oh, that's a good question. Because y'all are a hubby and yes, a wife team. Yes. Yeah, people want to know about that. Um, Michael and I have spent three years now defining what our best roles are and I think that's key in a husband wife team like not giving him roles that don't work well for him um and giving and allowing myself to do the stuff that I thrive in and then letting go of what we say his roles are um Michael is the coolest Thanks is that us. your boo right there yeah oh hey Hey. hey! I didn't know he was watching he was yeah. in the back jumping right I know. There, so we didn't even know okay so um say what were you um, so, so yeah, so being a husband and wife team, I think, requires us to, I have to let go. It was my, it was my business to begin with. So I have, I have learned to let go of a lot of, um. Which I'm sure that's not easy always, no, you know. No, It was like my baby and then he joined in and became his baby too. Right. So I've learned gradually just to let go and trust that he knows what he's doing. And he so, loves you. Yeah. And, and is working together. Like yeah. it's not like, you know, I'll try to get my shine, try to get my shine. Like you're, you shine together. Right, right. You know, which is, which is really critical. Yeah. You know, that's definitely. so huge. How do you guys keep the love alive? <laughs> Like, you know, I'm just saying, like, it could be work, work, work. But, like, when you go out to I dinner, think, you don't want to talk about work, you know? No, no. And I think for us, um, our first year in business, we um, we were building a house, which was really exciting. And so, like, every, literally, y'all were, like, banging the hammer and all that well, yourselves? not ourselves. I was going to say but it for Monday. That's we, every day, we would, like, finish the work day, and then we would know, like, okay, let's get the dog, and let's go check on the house. And we'd do, go walk around, and it was, like... A cutoff point yeah. where we just knew, okay, work stops now. We're gonna go live life um, apart from our business. So um, and so now we um, we're trying to sell that house. Actually, it's taken uh, house for sale. House for sale. You got a real estate um, agent, I'm sure. Yes. Well, it's taken right. six months. That's a different story. Oh, you know but, what? Okay. Um, yeah. But now we are in a season where we're just making a more conscious effort. To recognize, like when we need to just have a date night, when we need to just yeah. hang out with Boca Boy and book us a dog. Boca Boy, Boca Boy. So we miss him. He's so Aww. sweet. So you guys do a regular date night? Oh, I wish we have. Been, I was home three nights in October. Three nights, but we did just. I know it's been a crazy season, but we um, celebrated our five years in October, and we went to an all-inclusive resort. For four days, and it was wonderful. No, that's nice. Yeah. That's how you keep love alive. Yeah. But you guys need to... Look, why are you, are you blushing? Look. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so oh, Michael, you make her blush. My hubby still makes me blush. And we've been married for 10 years. If he was oh, on here, he'd probably be almost crazy. 10 years. 10 years in December. Um, he would be making me blush. He makes me blush sometimes on here. Oh, I love that. It's so sweet. But, okay, so one more, one more, look, we're going to open this up for questions, guys. Can you tell people where they can find you on social media? <coughs> At Caitlin James on Instagram is the best place to get connected daily. Um, and then Caitlin James blog. Uh, and then, obviously, we're on Facebook. But Instagram is probably the best place to keep up with. Just, it's the easiest place to find us. So, Caitlin James on Instagram. Do you mentor? Yep. That's not what my question was going to be, but I just was curious. How how does that work? Like, do people just like email you? You set it up? Like, how, I mean, what does mentoring look like? Um, for you? Mentoring looks like we set aside certain days of the um, of each month, and we do like three months at a time, and then we announce coaching. We call them coaching dates, um, and we actually do them in person in our home, so that it's wow. really personal. What if they um, live in like Saudi Arabia? They just fly over here. Well, we've had not Saudi Arabia, but we've just had uh, some people travel. It's. We just put a lot of value on in person. Um, that's why our our course online is so big because we've never done such large amount of training yeah. on our own online. So, um, but yeah, we do coaching every every month almost. We took what's, October off, but what's that every month? Do you take on a certain number of people? And you're like, that's it. 
Yeah, we take on, um, it's normally two photographers a day, and we do two days a month, so four photographers every month. Yeah. Wow. Is there like a waiting list for that? How do people... It's not a waiting up? list, but they do sell out within a uh, couple days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so when's the next one? We're announcing more in the middle of November after we get through this week. And, you guys um, are busy. I know. I just... I, I mean, where do you keep your schedule? On paper or on your phone? On my phone. I would just love to see it. Oh, no, It's you just don't. probably it's like packed. I thought I had a busy schedule. Like, it is. I have things in my calendar like drink water so you don't forget like it's <laughs> I love this I'm just saying okay this is what I want to ask you though okay was there a moment <coughs> sorry my voice is going yes okay was there a moment where you felt like giving up mm. um I wouldn't say that I have had a moment of like just wanting to give up but I have had moments of feeling like I just want to get out of this industry wow. because I, I feel like um, I could do so many things and they could just be copied or I could do so many wow. things and it'll never be as good as so-and-so, so why even try? Wow. So, I, and not that I want to give up, it, what, I guess, kind of, like, I, yeah. I've thought about, like, gosh, I'm just going to join this industry because I love doing this, this, and this. What, and like tap dancing? Tap, no, not tap dancing, but um, I love, like home decor and like mm, that type of stuff you? so maybe one day but like for right now I think I love the quote to grow where you're planted mm. so right now I am planted in this world and I love it and I know I'm supposed to be here so I'm gonna stay here stay here girl yeah. I'm gonna help so, you water it thank you girl. water that flower so so okay so guys what questions do you have for Caitlin what questions hey what questions do you guys have for Caitlin? I got to ask all the good questions. So what questions do you guys? We'll open it up for questions real quick. And then let's do um, an announcement. So I am going to give away on Periscope on Monday on my channel at Mo Motivate. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So guys, make sure you're following me at Mo Motivate. I'm going to plug that in there. Someone asked, how'd you stay encouraged? Oh, yeah. That's a good question. Make sure you guys are um, following over there. But also... And on on Monday, the Blink Conference is going to be announcing all the giveaways from the um, Apple TV, the mugs that they're giving away, the T-shirts. So guys, make sure you fill out the survey. The survey <coughs> is Sorry. at Mo Motivate. There is a survey that you guys can fill out. We want you to fill that out. So you, those are the people who are going to be eligible for all of the giveaways, including mine. So guys, make sure you do that, okay? Would you advise against more than one business, nursing business and photography? How long did it take you before your business started moment? Okay, let's answer the first one, which was how do you stay encouraged? Um, I stay encouraged by not following a lot of people in the industry and not because I don't compare myself. Um, I stay encouraged by the fact that my identity is not in the success of my business financially. It's in what the Lord's goal is for my business. And I stay encouraged um, because I have a great husband. Who, you do have a great husband. Yes. I can already tell. Hey, um, Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, uh, so, doing multiple businesses, that was a question. Yeah, that was. Um, that's and they hard. were very different businesses. Photography, yeah, nursing, yeah. that's very different. It's really, that's really hard. I think um, specialization has been huge for us. And so, Thank you. Can you um, go into that just a little bit? Yeah. Just a little bit. Specialization for us um, means that we've decided that we're experts at weddings. And that allows us to be more valuable and allows us to charge more and to focus and get better in one area and so you could totally do a million different businesses but I would never want to have a business where I felt like I was 100% in one and 50% in the other so um so yeah it's like trying to be a baby a baby to I mean a mother to like 50 babies how do yeah. you really oh, you know it's hard, yeah. how do you handle yeah. time management um I use a program called Trello and if you go on my blog and search Trello T-R-E-L-L-O um, there's a video that shows how we use that, but that manages our tasks and our time. Um, just really having dedicated work hours to like certain projects is really important. So somebody said, "Have you ever felt so busy you felt burned out? And what did you do?" With yeah, um, I've been. Yeah, I mean we're tired now. I was, my voice like. Sorry, my voice is going. I know we're um, gonna wrap it up, y'all. She, she, she really. I'm can't. like fading fast. She loves um, it. But I sit. Uh, what was the question? 
Um, get burned out. Oh, burned out. Yeah. I, um, yes. I'm going to say yes to that one. Yes. I think you should specialize. I do. Uh, yeah. That's Maybe not, not your first year because you got to figure out what to specialize right, in, but right. you should specialize I eventually. Agree. But you were saying about burned out. Um, What's she about to burn out now? Yeah. Like losing steam. Um, I, I think the one reason I haven't gotten burned out um, is because I had outsourced a lot. I don't edit all my weddings. I don't edit engagements. I edit for the blog, and that's it. And so I'm doing only what I love and not what I don't love. Um, Good. Yeah. Do you, what was the first thing you outsourced, even if it's like home or? Um, we outsource editing, and then album design, and then house cleaning, and then social media. Listen, everybody that's been on here and I've asked about outsourcing cleaning has been. Yes. The one yeah. of them editing guys you hear it like yeah. this is what keeps these folks able to really stay fresh stay current stay excited stay from getting burnt out you know yeah I'm sticking it out for us i hope you have an essential i hope you have essential oil spray yes 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 guys so we're going to wrap this up thank you so much yes. make sure you follow where, where are they where can they follow you again tell them on Periscope. Um, where you at caitlin james on instagram yes that's probably the best place and then from there you can get connected to a bunch of different places everything there guys make sure you're following at Blink Conference, guys. The yeah. announcements are going to be at Blink Conference on Monday, guys. Make sure you're there. So let's let's close this. I know your voice is this is going, but let's close it with a quick song, just to send y'all off right. That's all we can. Let me get some water. Get some water. One day I want to do mentoring. Okay, girl, you got it. You got it, boo. I see you, Bethany. I see you. You know her. Um, I do now. Yes, oh. I do. I've seen, guys. I've seen so many of these. These are good friends, like friends that Yay. have been on the internet and been friends with us from so long. Oh, you're so, so welcome. Yeah. Um, what are we singing? Oh, I don't know. You said you like everything. I do like everything. Um, how about Hello from the Other Side? I can't sing that high. Okay, well, you want some low? Mm. Um, rolling in the deep. <laughs> yes, you that is me. Are oh, you not going? Hold on, somebody was asking something. I got distracted. Mo motivate. It's Mo motivate. Okay, Look, I left her hot. hanging. I left her hanging, y'all. Sorry. It's not okay. Hot, Rolling in the deep. You had my heart inside your hands. But you played it. You played it. You, you played it too late to the deep. Michael's going to be so mad I messed that up. Look, your voice is off the chain. I'm going to need oh. you to do some more of that because no. you, I almost stopped because I wanted people to hear you. You're, you're, do you sing in the yeah. choir at yes. church? Yes. She sing in the choir now. Do oh. you play the tambourine? No, I don't play tambourine. I can't, I have no rhythm. Tambourine, y'all. <laughs> tambourine, get the tambourine. Okay, one more thing. I got you. What? I need you to sing one more time. No, Let's I don't sing. know. I can't, oh. Oh, that was so good. It just made my life better. Okay, what? Help, so, crazy. give me, give her, put a request. What could we get you to sing real quick? Oh my gosh. Um, what? Oh. I can't something. Think of Guys, something. I have pneumonia. <laughs> I cannot sing right you now. You sound so good. Pneumonia <laughs> make you sound good. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my god. That was good. Okay, I will make you sing again. Fine. Okay. It's fine. just. Another time, though. Another time. Y'all hear that? Another time. She'll sing for us again. So thank y'all so, so much. We are ha Look, he wants you to sing again. He always wants me to sing. Does he? Yes. Do you sing for him? I, I mean, we sing together in the car. Can he sing? Michael can, where is Michael can sing. Oh, he's not going to sing. Where are you at? He's not going to sing. Mike, where you go? He, he's hiding right now. Come That's in here, Mike. He, he's hiding. Mike, come. Nope. <laughs> She's sick, I know. I'm totally being so insensitive. Okay, so, all right, Mike, I'm going to get oh, you. Holy night, okay. Endless love. How does that go? I can't remember how that goes. Oh. Baby, dun, 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 dun. Baby boy, you say on my mind. Fulfill my fantasy. I, I think, think about you all the time. I see you in my dreams. Baby boy, the day goes by without you. Da, da, da. <laughs> I think about you all the time. <laughs> oh, oh, we don't know that one. <laughs> we don't know oh, that one. God. <laughs> That's so funny. I think we should go. Because yeah, we bad. Okay, so have you ever had an interview like this? I have never had an interview like this. And you never will. So, listen, I'm having a blast. Can y'all just give me, like, 
tell me, would y'all love to see more interviews like Mo Motivate interviewing different folks in the photography industry, all different industries, getting them to sing, getting them to like open up and share, giving y'all plugs. Would y'all like that? Can y'all just say yes? Like, would y'all? Okay, yeah, they would. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we're gonna have to make that happen. Yes, yes. The one, oh, this one is the best. See, see, see. Oh, look. Okay, all right. I feel the love. I just love. She's done such a good job, and I just feel like. Oh, they love me. Oh, they love me. They love me. They love me. I think they really love me. They, they do. They like a song or something. Or a no more singing. I want to oh see more God. of you. Yes. Oh we want to see more of you. Oh, no. wait. oh, so y'all want me. Oh. Okay, look. Look, this would totally be no fun if it was just me, though. Okay, let's go. Thank y'all so, so much. More interviews. Yes. Thank you, folks. We are going to head out of here. I do bring out the best in people. That is actually something I say because I'm really good at it. I'm yes, you are. good at it, y'all. She that's, is. That's why I'm going to be her brand strategist. Okay, so you heard it first here, y'all. Look, I got Mary writing a book. I'm working with everybody. Look, I'm building my business. So. Yes, she is. She is. Look, is. Okay, guys. Peace out. Make sure you're following at Blink Conference. Mo Motivate is where you can get the survey. Go to Twitter. Get that survey. You can follow me on Periscope as well. I'm just as fun on that channel, too. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for the hard look. Can we give Caitlin a round of applause? She's oh, got pneumonia. Oh, give her her give her a round of applause of tap. Tap the screen, y'all. Give her the hard oh. love. Hard it up, hard it up, hard, 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 hard. Oh, hard it up, hard it up. Yeah. She's got pneumonia. Poor thing. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, thank you guys. Bye, Have guys. a great one. Bye.